early this year, I did a prediction for all 10 of my NCAA champions. And I did a thing where I put them kind of in order of confidence from least confident to most confident or most least. I don't remember what I did, but I gave you all 10 of the NCAA champions who I thought was going to win each weight. And so now the entire regular season has, has come to a, an end. And so it feels like a good time to do another one of these. I may do another one after conferences, depending on how much chaos we have. Probably will. Um, but I have a couple changes, a couple different champions, major shakeup for my order. Okay, so here is my uh, least confident NCAA champion pick. And I'm going to start where I believe I started last time I did this video, 125 pounds. Now, the biggest surprise here is that my prediction has not changed. If you'd have told me, hey, when you do this video early Janu January, do you think you'll have the same answer at the end of the regular season? I probably would have said no because my answer was changing basically every week who the best 125 was. But it could be the same guy, Matt Ramos. He's been the best guy this year, right? After a crazy start to the season where we saw up and down and, you know, you had multiple guys that have been ranked number one losing to high schoolers. Matt Ramos has really been pretty steady since that time. He's been really good this year. Um, he's beaten Drake Ayala. He's beaten a number of really highly ranked guys. He's taken some losses for sure. That's why he's my least confident NCAA champion this year. But I still think he's the best combination of overall offense. I, you need There's a lot of guys that are really good here, but they're kind of, they win a lot of tight matches. They're, they don't have a ton of different ways to score. I love that Ramos is a little more dynamic. He's a little more fearless. He can go out there. He's got a lot of different ways he can put points on the board. And so for that reason, Matt Ramos still my pick at 125. I don't know what got into me here. Maybe I'm crazy. I could get yelled at on an FRL by Ben from this. But I'm changing my 133 prediction. My video, my rules. Now, coming into this year, you would have been a fool to pick anyone other than Vito Arujo. But I have enough respect for the margins at this weight and how good you have to be wrestling to win this tournament. It's not just how good you feel, not just... Um, how well you're wrestling. It all has to come together for you to win the NCAA wrestling championship, right? You can't just have, you can't just be really good. You have to be healthy. All these different things. And right now, I don't have the confidence in Vito Arujao's health that I need to, to pick him to be the NCAA champion. So who am I going to pick? You'd say Ryan Kirk. No, I'm picking Dayton. I think he can do it. I know. There have been other years it, it looked like he was going to do it and he didn't do it. It looked like he was going to do it and he didn't do it. I think... I don't know. I believe a little bit in the storybook sort of ending. I just believe more than anything, Dayton is good enough to win this weight class. And with Vito maybe coming back to the field a little bit, I like the Crookham matchup for Dayton. I think they're actually incredibly similar wrestlers. Now, so the question you have to ask with Crookham and Dayton is, well, can Crookham out Dayton Dayton, right? Can he be a little more crafty in the scrambles? I'm not as sure, right? And we need to see it. We were going to see that match, and Dayton missed a little bit of time with injury. But since he's been back, he's looked really good. Now, I did get tired in the end against Teske. I know that I'm riding a little bit of a, it's kind of like a, you know, a gut feeling maybe a little bit here. But I'm going with Dayton here, and I think you're crazy. If you think Vito's going to win this weight, that's fine. If you think Kirkham's going to win this weight, that's fine. The point I'm trying to make here is if you think Dayton Fix can't win this weight class, you're crazy. He can win this weight. He's my second least confident pick, but right now he's my pick. We'll see what happens at conferences. Next up, Keegan O'Toole. Now, I think I was a little more confident in Keegan early January because he was destroying literally everyone, and we had seen David Carr had taken a loss to uh, Julian Ramirez and maybe not quite as good. Now, since that time, Keegan has had a couple scares. He'd been right there with Peyton Hall, a couple other really close matches, right? And... Combine that with David Carr looks really good and combine that with the fact that this dude Mitchell Messenbrink it, He's the real deal, right? So it's gonna be tougher and tougher to win this way I still think there's no reason not for me to not pick Keegan if you think Carl will win if you think someone else will win It's not crazy, but I think Keegan's still the pick, but you can't be but so confident in it next up and and I would say for this these next few I have a very similar confidence level It's about the same my next one, I went with I went with Caleb Henson. He was my pick earlier in January, and I haven't seen anything to really get me off that pick. Now, Ridge Lovett was, definitely had a case. He beat Caleb at 
Vegas. Now Ridge has lost to Kyle Parko. Kyle Parko lost to Caleb Henson. All three of those guys are super good. I think all three of those guys can win a title. Henson, you know, I, lo I love the Hokies a little bit. I think Henson has a great style for navigating a, the tournament. He's really aggressive. He can get to legs. He's hard to get to. He can wrestle from everywhere. Uh, he's still my pick. Not a ton of confidence, but I'm, I didn't get off the Caleb Henson train as of yet. Next up, Bo Bartlett. Yes, that's right. The Penn State 41-pounder. I think he's my pick right now. He's certainly the most battle-tested. He beat Real Woods, and he beat Real, Real Woods pretty soundly. He just got by Jesse Mendez. It was a close match. That'll be a close match every single time. I think the next time he wrestles um, Real Woods, it's, it'll be closer. He got by Brock Hardy. A lot of people said, hey, Brock Hardy did not, prefer, you know, not the greatest call in that match. I thought Bo Bartlett was still the better guy in that match. So he's my pick. Not a ton of confidence. If you watch a lot of Bo Bartlett, you know he's one of these guys. Like I talked about, 25 has a lot of guys that win just, just by the skin of their teeth. Bo does that, but he does it well. He does it consistently, and that's a skill all itself, all in itself. So I'm not backing off uh, Bo Bartlett's ability to win this weight. Real Woods doesn't look to be the same guy as a year ago. He lost pretty soundly to, to Sergio Limley. He lost pretty soundly to Bo Bartlett. Um, he looked good against Tag and Jameson, but I want to see this Big Ten. Now, Big Tens could change everything. If Bo, if probably whoever wins 141 at Big Tens, will be the, the favorite to win in series. I don't know if that'll change my pick or not, but a lot's gonna change coming into the, coming out of conferences for sure. Next up, this was my number one most confident pick last time I did this video. Now, way on down there, Carter Storacci. And the, the reasons are obvious. They're sort of not related to Carter Storacci's wrestling ability, his skill, what he's demonstrated over the years. This is the guy who's not only the number one ranked 174, He's the number one ranked pound for pound wrestler in the country. And oh, by the way, he has the longest win streak in the country. But so why am I, why am I doing a, why is he so low? Well, he's injured and we don't know how injured. He may not be injured at all. In which case, come this time next week, uh, or actually in like a week and a half, I may say, hey, yeah, Carter's the, once again, he's the lock. He's the most likely NCAA champion. But right now, I don't. I can't say that until I watch him wrestle a match and, and know his availability. Now, I don't know enough to say he won't win this way, right? I think that would be putting the cart way ahead of the horse. But I am tempering my uh, confidence just a little bit with Carter. Next up, Parker Keckheisen. This guy has wrestled, I think, all the top contenders. Because some of these guys, they're, they're number one, but you really want to see this matchup or that matchup. Keegan's a great example, right? Um, Kirk Fleet, you want to see him against Bastida. You want to see Brooks versus Trent Hiley. Well, Parker has kind of beaten everyone that could pose a threat to him at this point in the season. He beat Plot. He's beaten Pinto. He's beaten a lot. Of, he won Vegas, right? He beat Bernie Truax. So Parker's passed all the tests. And not only has he passed all the tests, he's one of the most dominant wrestlers in the country. If you look at his bonus point rate, it's up there with the best of the best. This is a guy who's not only, you know, a... Uh, a top contender to win this way, but he's in the Hodge conversation. He really is. He's he's having that good of a season. So Parker Kekheisen, my next most likely NCAA champion at 184 pounds. He's going to be tested at, at, at the Big 12s, no doubt about it. 184, really, uh, it's a not the deepest weight, but he'll have some challenges at NCAAs. But right now, I feel really confident in saying, yeah, Parker Kekheisen is going to be the guy at 184 pounds. 157 is my next choice. Levi Haynes is my eighth most confident NCAA champion. Now, there was a time, a month ago, two months ago, he wouldn't have been this high. But what we've seen from Levi the last couple of weeks is, is the, a dominant Levi Haynes, not a guy that's squeaking by Isaiah Crosby and Chase Saldate. Um, he dominated Jared Franick. He's been dominating really good wrestlers. And I, I, I think he's... Starting, to, I don't know if he's separating, but uh, there's there's a chance he is. He's separating from the field at 157 pounds, and I feel really confident that that he's probably going to win this weight. He's really good. He's just a true sophomore. He was second last year, hasn't lost this year. It's a really deep weight, which should give some pause, right? I, I acknowledge that 157 is really deep, 
But I feel at this point, Levi is, is, is pulling away and he's got so many ways to score. I mean, he's great on his feet. He's his top pressure. I mean, look at the ride he put on Jared Franick. How many times did you see Jared Franick ridden, period? Well, Levi held him down and held him down a long time. He can turn. He can get, generate leg attacks, both sides, finish. He can counter scramble. Levi's the complete package, guys. Um, he's that good. And that's why he's my eighth most confident or third most confident pick. Next up, Greg Kerfleet. Not much to say. Number two is Wyatt Hendrickson. He teched him this year. Um, I, I feel that. I feel like that says enough, but there's a little bit of question. You've got the question of how healthy was Wyatt in that match, not fully. So we want to see that again because at NCAAs, that was a pretty competitive match where Wyatt got the first takedown. And we've also we also have Younger Bastida. That's an additional guy. So yeah, I feel like you got two really tough guys that could potentially pose a threat to Greg Kerfleet. But number one. Probably not a big surprise. Maybe you would say Kirkley should be over him, but I, I'm, I'm going with Aaron Brooks. And it's because I really, there's only one guy in my mind that I think could present uh, a viable challenge to Aaron this year, and that's Trent Hydley of NC State. And that's a, a test that Aaron Brooks has had to pass for his NCAA titles, but he's passed it every single time. They've wrestled three times, I believe, at the NCAA tournament, and Brooks has won them all. Some of them close, some of them not as close. And... Hydley's having the best season we've ever seen him wrestle. I think that's without question. And, you know, Brooks, he's had some closer matches that, than maybe you would expect. But at the end of the day, Aaron Brooks is maybe the second best guy in the world uh, at his weight class in freestyle. I think he, he's, he's that good. And I feel really confident he's going to win this weight. I can't wait to see that Hydley matchup. But there's not enough to... Uh, I haven't seen enough from Trent or enough from Aaron to make me think that Aaron's anything but the number one most likely NCAA champion this year. So those are my picks. That's my 10. And it's in that order from uh, least confident to most confident. Now you ask me in a week and a half after conferences, I may have a different 10. I may have a completely different order. But for right now, this is the 10 for me. But I want to know yours. Give me your 10 NCAA champions. What's your confidence? Which, which ones did I mess up? I know I, I threw a couple curveballs in there. Who you got? Who are your champs?